this is by far the biggest change I've ever seen down Monk's Walk. It's absolutely crazy, crazy, crazy. Yo, what is going on guys? My name is Jack Silkstone and welcome to my very first Project Exodus construction update. Oh yes, I've been waiting so, so long to film a series like this. Obviously here at Fort Park, we haven't had a roller coaster for 10 years now. And ever since I started filming theme park videos and especially videos here at my local and favorite theme park, Fort Park, we haven't had anything this big to get excited about. Obviously every year I've filmed Fright Nights update videos and winter construction updates and all of that good stuff. But now is finally the time for me to document the construction of a brand new roller coaster, Project Exodus. Now at the moment, this roller coaster hasn't yet been approved for planning permission, which is the reason why I've kind of been debating as to when I start this construction series because I've already filmed a ton of videos and kind of updates about Project Exodus, especially during the time when this roller coaster was first kind of announced. And I've just been waiting to kind of see when I bite the bullet and film this first Project Exodus construction update. I wasn't sure if I should wait until the actual planning got approved and the roller coaster actually started getting built, but that could still be a few months away. And stuff is happening here at Fort Park. So I thought, why wait? Let's film the first one right here, right now. Um, and yeah, in today's video, I'm gonna be taking you around Old Town, taking a look at how the Project Exodus site currently looks. It's actually just down there. Uh, so I'm super excited to walk over and show you guys. And then yeah, I'm gonna head down Monk's Walk as well, because if you watch my recent Fort Park updates video, you'll know that we've had some really interesting deconstruction and kind of um, the flattening of buildings happening down there, which very well could be for Project Exodus. So yeah, I'm gonna head down Monk's Walk and um, talk to you guys about all of that good stuff. But boy oh boy, I am so excited to finally be filming this Project Exodus construction update. Come on! So just whilst I'm over here at this point in Old Town, obviously the first thing I should discuss is this um, beautiful graphic. I know I've talked about it previously, um, but for those of you that might be new to this whole kind of project, um, this is a brand new graphic that went in at the start of this season. And uh, well, to me, it very much looks like it's a subtle tease for the brand new Project Exodus roller coaster, which is due to be the tallest ride in the UK. And yeah, there have actually been loads of other kind of hints and Easter eggs for this upcoming Project Exodus ride um, that have happened over the past year or so. So I'll do a video about all of those um, Easter eggs and kind of the history to Project Exodus and what has got us to this point in a future video. But yeah, today I'm just gonna be taking a look at the current Project Exodus site, which is just down here at the end of Old Town. So behind me, we have the current Project Exodus construction site. And as you can see, essentially all we've got at the moment is a massive white wall that stretches from that end of Old Town right around to this end, where obviously the Platform 15 um, horror maze used to exit. Now this white wall has basically been put up along the old route of the Canada Creek Railway, back when it was rerouted to go like underneath Saw the Ride. And yeah, Essentially, because of this big white wall, we can't really get too many glimpses into the construction site at this point. However, there are a few spots where you can get some nice views, which I'll head to very shortly. Um, but yeah, at the moment, we've just got event advertising boards all the way along this board, apart from these end bits, where I'm hoping we get some cool kind of Exodus-related graphics once planning of permission gets approved. But yeah, for those of you that are new to this whole project, because honestly, I've been rambling on about this for months and months now. Um, but essentially, this project is taking place in the area of the park where Logger's Leap used to be located, where Creek Freak Massacre, the Fright Nights Horror Maze used to be, and rides like Rocky Express, Lumber Jump, and Timber Tug previously were. Now this area has been completely closed off to us for this season and ongoing until hopefully this roller coaster gets built because as I keep saying, it hasn't yet been approved. However, the park are clearly predicting their will judging by the fact that they put up all of this and there is work going on within the area, which I'll go and show you right now. Oh, 
Now, through these gaps, Fort Park have actually been very funny because they know that this is a massive deal for Fort Park and theme park enthusiasts, and they know that people are going to be very keen to see all of the latest construction for this ride. So even though they put up this big white construction wall, they've put up signs on the old curly fry unit um, that are kind of mocking the fact that theme park enthusiasts will be peeking through. There are signs like, it's very rude to stare, <laughs> hey, what are you looking at? And uh, I don't know, they just left in an exodus. It's basically as if Old Town is talking and like, where did everyone go kind of thing. Um, so yeah, Fort Park know that this is like a high interest area. So yeah, they put up these little sneaky Easter egg signs um, that I find very funny. Now, as for the actual construction that's taking place in that area, well, we've already had a lot of the old children's rides that were there um, removed from the park. So Timber Tug has now left. Um, Lumber Jump has now been relocated over to the Amity area as High Striker. And Rocky Express, we're still not too sure about. It still seems to be in place, um, but the future of that ride is very much up in the air as to what's happening with it. So yeah, work is clearly taking place in that area. There's loads of construction vans like going in and out of there um, on different days. But probably the biggest piece of like, physical construction or deconstruction, I should say, that's taking place in that di area directly is that the old bridge that took you over um, the Logger's Leap trough to join the queue line for Creek Creek Massacre and obviously Logger's Leap back when it was open has now gone and there's now like a dirt construction road um, that's on there. So yeah, at the moment, to me, it seems like a lot of just kind of basic groundwork is taking place in anticipation for this roller coaster. Because I imagine the park are being a little bit apprehensive as to actually doing anything major until the planning application actually gets approved. And we're hoping that should happen within the next few months. But yeah, there's definitely stuff already happening here at the park. In fact, the next place I'm gonna take you guys to is uh, another area of deconstruction that I believe might have happened in anticipation for construction vehicles getting down to Project Exodus's site. So you join me here at the exit to a Nemesis Inferno. Now, as I mentioned, there's been quite a lot of deconstruction that has taken place just over my shoulder here. There you go, as you can see, Previously here, we had um, a shed and then some kind of fencing, which was the exit for the Blair Witch Horror Maze and also Roots of Evil most recently. But that has now been completely flattened and it's left quite a mess, to be honest. Now, if you watch my recent update video here at Fort Park, you'll know that I mentioned there are two potential reasons as to why I think this could have happened. The first of which could be a new Fright Nights edition. It could be a new maze or scare zone in this area, with it obviously previously being used for Blair Witch and Roots of Evil. However, I'm obviously gonna focus on the other reason that I mentioned in that video, Project Exodus, with this being a Project Exodus construction video. Now, obviously Old Town, the area where Project Exodus is due to be built, is quite a tricky area in the park for construction vehicles to get to, because they'd have to drive down this road um, and then down to those service gates with the new um, graphic on, and then go through the park to get to that area of the park. However, by kind of demolishing this old Fright Nights maze, it seems like they'll be able to get construction vehicles down the back and then parallel to Monk's Walk um, and then through to Old Town without kind of disrupting any traffic within the park. Like they won't need to close off any areas of the jungle or Old Town to get construction vehicles down there. So in my opinion, it seems like that's what they're doing. Um, I'm gonna head down Monk's Walk to see if I can see any more deconstruction that's happened down like the old Roots of Evil maze. Um, and also if anything's going on down in Old Town, literally in the site. So yeah, that's gonna be my next stop, but it's just so interesting seeing all of this. So here I am at Monk's Walk, which offers beautiful views of the Fort Park Resort, as you can see across this lake. And it actually goes all the way around down the back of the park. And I'll be heading around there very shortly. Now, because I live so close to Fort Park, well, actually I live in Fort Park. But we are just a stone's throw away from the Fort Park Resort. 
But no, because I live so close, I am always walking down Monk's Walk. During lockdown, I was here like on a daily basis. And yeah, thankfully, because of the location where Project Exodus is due to be taking place, in this kind of big foresty area here, it means that Monk's Walk is gonna be a hotspot for Project Exodus construction because it's literally next to Monk's Walk. Which means I'm gonna be heading down here as and whenever I need to to grab new updates for this roller coaster. Now, as for the roller coaster itself, I know the majority of you watching this will of course know all about Project Exodus um, from my previous videos and everything. But for those of you that might be new, Project Exodus is essentially gonna be the UK's tallest roller coaster. That's right, it's gonna be taller than stealth. It's gonna take riders up to 236 feet in the air via a lift hill. So it's not gonna launch like stealth, you're gonna slowly be taken to the top and then go down the rest of the layout. Now, because this ride is over 200 foot, it's gonna be classed as a hyper coaster. And I actually made a little reference in one of my previous winter construction update videos in which you can kind of get a sense of the scale of this thing um, from this view here. So yeah, that's just a rough thing that I kind of put together to give you guys a scale of just how big this thing is gonna be on the skyline and how exciting this project is. Now, as I said, I'm gonna head down Monk's Walk and I'm gonna make my way around to the side of the park and we'll see if we can get any updates down there. So I'm now level with the Project Exodus construction site. I dread to think how many times today I've already said Project Exodus. I imagine it's a lot. Um, but yeah, down by Platform 15 on um, the Sleeper Express, not a lot seems to be happening, but that kind of makes sense because that area isn't really going to affect the construction site. It kind of exists just on the border, the outside of it. However, just slightly down here, I'm um, kind of level with the very top of Logger's Leap. Obviously, this area is where Project Exodus will be being built. Um, we've had some work being done in which I believe the um, Platform 15 kind of um, sheds, I don't know what you call them, have all been torn down. I actually watched these get put up in a Fright Nights update many years ago now. I actually built it. No, 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 <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, let's go, buddy. We've they were actually the old beach huts. Um, they got moved from Amity Beach over here um, to be part of Platform 15 when the maze kind of got reversed. Um, so yeah, all of these um, huts have now been taken down, which very much does strengthen the theory that they are making uh, a path all the way down here for construction and service vehicles. Once again, we've got even more kind of old beach hut debris here, um, literally propping up against the Monk's Walk fence. Um, but yeah, it was this area where they previously were standing and they've all been taken down now. So yeah, that's very interesting to see. I'm excited to see what else we've uh, had deconstructed down here. But um, I believe there's something even more exciting just here. And this is currently the biggest piece of construction that we've had for Project Exodus. As you can see, we've got a big old piece of machinery here. <laughs> So yeah, we're clearly having a lot of big construction taking place. Now, I'm definitely no builder, but to me, this looks like some form of drill. You guys will have to let me know in the comments. I know it's quite difficult to see, um, but it looks like they're kind of drilling into the ground right about here. Now, once again, I'm not a builder or a person that knows anything about construction, but I imagine the reason for this would be they're kind of testing the ground, maybe, because obviously, just looking at how many documents Fort Park submitted to the local council in regards to this new roller coaster, there are so many things they have to cover. So to me, this seems like they're just kind of testing out the ground conditions by kind of drilling down and seeing like how supports would go here because this area is just about where the final kind of break run for Project Exodus will run. It'll actually go literally where the Loggers Leap final drop is. So it's a bit further out, um, but they might just be testing it before they can get kind of access to that area. Yeah, it's just awesome to see. So I imagine that is the reason they've kind of been flattening this entire park so that they can get things like this this big old piece of machinery down here um, let's have a look what else we can see previously we had the platform 15 finale here and oh my god it has once again fully gone 
Jeez, that's such a weird sight to see. It's been so many years since this area has kind of been open. The last time would have been like back when Platform 15 used to operate this way down Monk's Wharf. Obviously back in 2020, it was reversed and the whole kind of finale of Platform 15 was built here. But yeah, that's so weird to see again. It's once again, just a clear space and they've uh, obviously taken no time at all in getting that down. Look at that, it's all a bit mangled. And uh, I'm guessing like the old Sleeper Express train, I think it was Iver, the engine here was called. Yeah, that's all gone. And they've literally just bulldozed their way down there and made a clear path. It's so weird that even since we had the Project Exodus news, I was saying about how much this pathway is gonna change. I wasn't expecting it to change this early in like April to the point where we already have like a clear road because if this coaster gets approved, then we will literally be looking at the Project Exodus station right about there. The maintenance bay will be just down there. Yeah, it's all so exciting. It's just crazy how fast things happen. I'm going to carry on down Monk's Walk and just kind of see what other deconstruction has taken place. Because obviously, even just down this bit, we had like um, like bits of wood that were kind of separating it back for mazes like Dead Creek Woods and even like Blair Witch back in the day. So yeah, we've still got some of the um, signage over there. But the wooden panels that were kind of perpendicular to this one, ouch, um, they've all gone now. Jeez, it's so weird to see. Even in my last winter construction update, I remember standing here and kind of filming the new graffiti wall. And I had to kind of maneuver through all of the trees and everything that were obviously put here for mazes like Blair Witch. And now, completely gone. It's a complete straight construction track right down to Old Town. It's just so fascinating because obviously these mazes were built to feel very enclosed, very claustrophobic out in the woods. So there were so many trees and like wooden panels all in the way. In fact, even here, there used to be a big old like Blair Witch facade house. That has now just fully been taken away. And there is just a road there. I'm very excited to head down and see all of this uh, Blair Witch kind of finale shed deconstruction up close and personal because it looked like a complete mess earlier and I'm excited to see if I can spot anything from like the old mazes but yeah we have just got a complete road now honestly Monk's Walk hasn't looked this way for so many years now what Blair Witch was made back in 2013 I think it was first introduced to Fright Nights along with um Studio 13 and the other Lionsgate mazes. And Monk's Walk has been so different for what, like nine years now. So it's so fascinating to see it. Look at that. Oh my goodness. So these blue pallets were last used in um, Dead Creek Woods. They kind of made up the finale as well as like zombie hunt. Wow. <laughs> Oh my god, I've been doing Monk's Walk now for so, so many years, like half a decade at this point. But I have to say, this is by far the biggest change I've ever seen down Monk's Walk. It's absolutely crazy, like, to think, what, a few months ago, mazes were still here, queue line infrastructure was still here, theming pieces were still here, trees were still here, and now, it's just completely been flattened. And fun fact, guys, this just here is actually that engine that I was talking about from the um, Platform 15 finale. That little black thing there is um, the kind of wooden fake train that they made. Look at that. But just think, like, this is where the roller coaster track is going to come. That's so mental to think. Actually, to be fair, I think the track itself will probably come across park um, when the park's closed. That probably makes a bit more sense. But yeah, loads and loads of vehicles are going to be coming down here when the park's open within the next, like, year or so. And the normal guests will just not know about it because it's going to be happening um, behind the scenes. We've been talking about a new roller coaster coming to Fort Park for so many years now. And we're very much seeing the construction for it happening in front of our own eyes. So exciting. So that brings me to the end of this very first Project Exodus construction update. 
as you can probably tell, I am ridiculously excited to be starting this series. This roller coaster is literally going to take over my life for the next few years, and I'm all here for it. I'm so excited, and I'm so excited for you guys to be joining me on this journey. So be sure to subscribe for future Project Exodus construction updates. I'm literally going to be following this thing so so closely. I live down the road. As soon as anything happens, I'll be here filming the latest updates for you all. But yeah, I do hope you've all enjoyed this very first episode. My name has been Jack Silkstone. Goodbye.